Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another mod review with me, Simulation for the Nation. Now, I don't really do these very often in case, unless it's something that really piques my interest. And today is absolutely no exception. This is, it's finally here. This is the classic Massey 3050 pack from Black Sheep Modding. And it just dropped on the mod of today and we're going to take a look at it right now. And I love it. Uh, this is my very first look at the in-game here. The textures look very nice, actually. Uh, keeping in mind that uh, in line with what he, what Black Sheep had been able to do with the Liebe pack that came out recently as well. Uh, externally, I haven't even looked inside it yet, so uh, everything we're doing here is for the very first time. Comes in two different models, uh, so we'll have a look at those before we go any further. In the small tractor category, you've got the four-wheel drive and you've got the two-wheel drive. Uh, configurations are both the same. Uh, 45 and 35,000 respectively though, it's uh, not a cheap tractor by any stretch for its age. Uh, you got knocking and you have trail board across the board, you can put front fenders on and you can also put a whole host of options. Look how nice it looks with the, the wide tyres on there though. That is brilliant. Uh, really do like this a lot. Uh, so, uh, we're going to go up. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a look into it. I've got one, I've got a few different options here. I've got the smallest model two wheel drive with the fenders and i got the largest model which is about 115 horsepower. Uh, with the duels on as well, so it gives you some options there. Externally, you have a look around it though, looks pretty nice. The back end is pretty straightforward and simple, but then a tractor this age didn't have a lot going on for it, to be honest. Uh, a little bit of detail there around the engine block as well. So if we jump in, we have got everything we need here to function with. So we've got our um, now what will they be? They'll be our gears down there, and you've got our high low uh, and uh, uh, selectors there. We've got on the side here, we've got our hydraulics. We have got our uh, spool valves, our uh, draft controls, and our PTO controls there. Fire this up. Now, they do look a little bit. Textures look a little bit funky, but passable. Cab wise, again, pretty barren. There wasn't ever a lot going on here. We are missing a radio, maybe, but hey ho, we'll live without that. We do have ice, well, functional doors using the mouse control if you're on PC. And then behind you. Got the rear window as well. Nice to have on there. Uh, if I turn some lights on, you can see right now, all my uh, dashboard lights up. Uh, same for the indicators as well, and the hazard lights. And of course, we've got a beacon on there as well, which is pretty nice to see. And even our rev count is moving there as well, which is awesome. Uh, pedals are moving. Pedals aren't quite right. That's the brakes that's moving now when I'm driving, but hey-ho. Very low seat here as well. Kind of very low down there, but that's, uh, that is what it is. Now, we're just going to add some dirt on here, see what it looks like. Blasted. Absolutely blasted. I don't think it looks too bad though. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Now I might be a bit biased here. Yeah, I love a good Massey Ferguson. Uh, more than next guy. Oh, those tractors and trailers over there. That's part of a mod review coming up. Uh, can you guess what it's for? Anyway. Um, yeah, I am a Massey fan, but I do like these a lot. Knocking tires on the 360 here looks pretty neat. Really does. A uh, nice little kind of small tractor for doing your verge work and things like that. This one here has all of the, uh, this is the wide tire configuration there with the front weights on. Just a nice looking tractor. What we're going to do with this guy, we're going to add a little bit of wear to it. And immediately you can see, wow. That's a lot of wear. Paint's almost completely peeled off there in places. Wow, that's impressive. Uh... So there you go. Pretty much they are... That is everything you need to see there. Uh, from what is a beautiful pack right now. There's not a lot of different variety of models in there. But they are a great looking classic tractor. We really do need to see more of those in game really in my mind. Uh, they are available for across all platforms as well. Uh, so you console users as well. You can get out there and uh, download this this beautiful pack and get stuck in as well. Which is uh, always great to see. Uh, and a really nice addition to the game. Another... Um, another small tractor there. This would be great for something like the Debt Free Farm Challenge that I'm currently working on and definitely worth checking out uh, and see when we get that stuck in there. But 115 horse, it's not too big. Uh, but at the same time there, sufficiently big enough to pull a trailer around or something like that. 
but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll leave it here for now. This has been a very quick update, so I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button. Drop a comment down below with which uh, of these models you prefer the most. Uh, and we will uh, look forward to seeing your reply. Until next time, though, I've been Simulation for the Nation. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been a very quick mod review, and we'll see you all in the next one.